morning. Joining us now, National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications at the White House, retired Rear Admiral John Kirby. Admiral Kirby, what's uh, the latest in the White House's response? What should we expect to hear from the president today? President's uh, going to be addressing uh, the American people today. He'll talk about uh, how we will continue to solidly stand behind Israel. There's a, a fresh tranche of security assistance on its way to Israel right now. He'll talk about the Im importance uh, of making sure that we continue to find out as much information as we can about American citizens that are in Israel. Sadly, we know that 11 were killed. Uh, we expect that that number will probably go north again, sadly. Uh, and he'll also talk about the importance of uh, of making sure that, uh, that we took look after the Jewish community here in the United States, that uh, we're working with state and local authorities to, uh, to make sure that uh, that all, all Jews all throughout America can feel safe in their, uh, in their uh, places of worship and community centers throughout this country. So, uh, Admiral, what's on the table from the U.S. perspective in terms of what this administration can do to support Israel as this continues to escalate? And then to bring you into the conversation we were just having is a conversation about freezing the Iran money on the table. So first and foremost, Mika, uh, the effort and the focus is on making sure that Israel has the munitions, the weapons, the tools uh, that they need to defend themselves and to uh, go after uh, these Hamas terrorists. And as I said, the first tranche of assistance is on its way to Israel. We're in constant communication with our counterparts over there, and certainly I would expect there'll be additional tranches of security assistance, but really it's that. Number two, it's offering uh, the Israelis uh, hostage crisis, hostage recovery expertise. Now, obviously, they have a lot of that there, too, uh, but so do we. Uh, and so we have made the offer to uh, support them in the hostage crisis. We don't know if any Americans are being held hostage. Doesn't matter. In this case, we are clearly interested in helping them uh, with any expertise and intelligence when it comes to getting those hostages freed, whoever they are. Um, and then on Iran, uh, I did hear the conversation about the $6 billion. Uh, it can be refrozen at any time. I'm not here to announce a policy decision one way or the other on that, uh, but as we said when we got the those Americans out of Tehran, that money can be frozen at any time. We can stop any transaction. And it is important for people to know that not a single dinar of that $6 billion uh, has ever gone into Iran for humanitarian purposes. None of it has been allocated. None, none of it has been spent. So it's all still sitting in a cuttery bank, and that is an option that's available to us. Admiral, good morning. John Lemire. I was struck by a phrase that went out yesterday from the White House in categorizing the president's calls uh, to allies and regional partners. Uh, and he in the White House was warning those there in the Middle East to not take advantage of what's yeah. happened there. Tell us a little bit yeah. more about what that means and who is that aimed toward? It's aimed at any actor or nation state that might find opportunity here uh, in what's going on in Israel to take advantage of it, whether it's militarily or, or, or in any other way, uh, to, to jump in and to, uh, and to make it even worse than it already is for the Israeli people. So it's not, you know, obviously it's, there's lots of places uh, in, that, in that region, Iran, certainly Hezbollah. Uh, it was a strong message to anybody that might want to take advantage of it. And I'll tell you the other thing is that's, no, that's exactly why the president ordered the, the four the USS Ford and uh, the carrier strike group that goes with her into the eastern Mediterranean as a strong deterrent that we will protect our national security interest and nobody should make any mistake uh, about jumping in and getting involved and taking advantage of this. Admiral, the State Department, the president as well announced 11 Americans were among those killed in the Hamas attack in Israel. Is there any update on those numbers? Right now, we can confirm the 11, uh, Willie. Uh, we're watching this closely, as you might imagine. Uh, I think we're all expecting that number to, to increase, uh, perhaps uh, even just over the course of this day. Uh, but we just don't have a new number to, to give. And those, that's 11 families now that have gotten the worst possible news and are dealing with unbelievable shock and grief. And there may be more, as you say. The president also said yesterday it's likely there are Americans among the hostages that were snatched from Israel and taken back to Gaza. Do you have any more information on that? No, we can't confirm that any Americans are in that pool of hostages. But as the president said, we have to prepare for the grim possibility, the likelihood uh, that they could. There is a number of unaccounted for Americans. We're, we're hearing from lots of families, as you might expect, who are, are trying to get information about loved ones they haven't heard from. Some of these folks could be lost. Some of them could be hurt uh, in hospitals. Some of them could be missing. But we have to prepare ourselves for the possibility, the likelihood uh, that some of them are, are being held hostage. And obviously, 
if that's the case, we're going to continue to do everything we have to do uh, to get them home to their families. And what would that mean exactly, Admiral, if there are, in fact, American hostages? Does that ramp up American involvement? Do you send teams in to help extract them? Well, again, we're certainly offering expertise. Uh, we have lots of expertise in the intelligence community, in the military, certainly in law enforcement uh, that are good at hostage recovery. We're offering that expertise to the Israelis right now. Uh, there are no plans to put U.S. boots on the ground, and I don't think it would be useful, since we don't even know if there's Americans in this pool, uh, I don't think it's useful to get to speculate about what the, what the options might be before us in terms of trying to get them home, but clearly we'll do everything we can. This is a very difficult, different situation. Uh, when you're mm -hmm. talking about hostages in a war zone, in, you know, in active combat, that certainly complicates any efforts to get Americans out of there. Retired Rear Admiral John Kirby, thank you very much uh, for being on the show this morning.